everyone welcome back again this time we're gonna install the f16 uh, uh, joystick uh, this one is uh, what do you call it uh, I forgot the name I think it's supposed to be uh, hold on the name will be mfssb i don't know what it means but anyway it's a magnetic or something or it's using a force feedback or what but actually the the unit is without the force feedback that i bought uh, but it has a, a magnetic magnetic force or uh, it's a, actually a pressure uh, kind of sensitive uh, uh, kit uh, so it's not the ordinary joystick so the movement of this uh, shaft is very small and you are able to put pressure to move up and down or uh, uh, lift it up and then roll left and right okay so here's the metal hand grip so it's very sturdy and there's uh, this adjustment here where you can adjust the height of the the hand positions uh, let's see how it works though is it uh, let me just do my hand positions is it not yet hmm. okay so you uh, tightening this one tightening that one and it will try to stay this level so yeah i think it's pretty comfortable um i think that's the maximum unfortunately it's not much so if you have a smaller hand you're gonna not be able to move it up further but i think this this is quite uh okay yeah uh, probably uh, yeah should be okay um my hand is not too big uh, so i need almost to the maximum lift of this hand uh, rest so yeah so this one is quite okay so once you adjust that i think the the next one is opening this uh, cover oh this one is the cable cover so it's kind of like silicon cap here uh this is a bit of flexible uh so it's cable not, not i thought it was uh uh sticking connectors but yeah so i think because you need to attach this one to that one uh i think there's a detent here that you have to put let's see if i can put it in uh where is it oh this one so you won't be able to mistakenly slide in the connectors because it's kind of having a detent now uh i think they can adjust a bit so I angle a bit to the right so my hand will probably not position let me screw this up first because if you make it crook it won't get in perfectly so just ensure you feel that the screw is entering it uh, uh, easy enough and then you probably slightly to the right here as you can see I'll, I'll, i adjust the angle of the hand grip a bit to the right probably not just probably slide a bit probably because I think uh, because it's going to be on the, my right hand side, so I think should be okay with a slight angled. Okay. I think that's it probably just just a bit straight too much angle to probably not going to be comfortable yeah
Okay, I think it's supposed to be quite tight. Hmm. Let me find the right angle first and tidy it further. Okay, so I think this is quite a good angle. I think you when you're given a small screw, let me see. There's a small uh, nuts here. I think it's supposed to be put in into where is it? Okay, this one. There's a a hole here for this um with a topless screw so i think it's going to enter flush into the screw hole and then <sighs> so this will secure the the rotation of the stick so it won't rotate or change when you use it okay so because it's going to be quite heavy use so as you can see ah, this is a very small movement wow wow this much it's almost a millimeter movement I think half millimeters only that's it wow this is going to be a new experience using this um, uh, MFSP SSP joystick uh, <laughs> with F16 I haven't really tried. There are some previous joystick simulating uh, uh, the pressure sensitive um, of the F-16 or F-A-35 uh, um, aircraft, which use a pressure sensitive uh, stick. But this one is a new experience for me. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see how it works <laughs> because it's going to be quite uh, it's just like a slight movement only uh you're gonna be able to fly f-16 that's going to be um imitating the real aircraft i think movement of the stick and the old kits uh, the joystick kit is very expensive i think this one is more affordable i guess from wind wing so it's good for us to to be able to taste the real f-16 almost real f-16 joystick okay so that's it and we're gonna use this base plate i'm going to use the base plate because i'm going to install the screw on these four corners to to fix the joystick into the table or the side table of the of the rig and yeah so uh, okay so we're going to test it later on how much sensitive it is uh i don't want to show you on how i'm screwing this this base plate so it's very simple using this Four screw provided. I think I'm not going to show you that one. So we're going to straight later on into the review of this joystick. Okay, so it's simple built, and we're going to straight directly to testing this joystick first, and then move to testing the throttle. Okay, so see you there. Okay, so once you open it, uh, I show this twin screen just to show you a bit of the movement of my hands and also the the this uh whatever shown in the screen uh, in inside simap uh pro okay so as you can see uh this is uh axis graph and there's some button here if you want to check the button later on so let's check the axis first because this is um kind of pressure sensitive so you have to pull it very hard to reach the maximum axis so if i pull it down it will show uh, and then you have to pull very strong and it will hit the beep sound meaning it reached the end of the the maximum axis position and if you pull it down it will reach the downward axis uh, maximum and to the left oh there's a vibration actually inside this stick sorry so yeah so it's very interesting so there's a vibration still inside the stick unfortunately i, I don't think it's a force feedback will activate it in this version so we'll we'll definitely find out but anyway uh so that is the axis so it's it's a different joystick compared to the normal joystick where you 
kind of free movement all around it can tighten a, a bit of the friction but this one this one is not friction it's it's pressure so you have to pull very hard to reach the end of the axis point and it's very difficult to hit the the, the whole things uh to the maximum axis okay um that is the new mff ssb um upgrade to this f16 um you can choose not to use this one and just using a normal one but i want to test and try out how it looks like or how it feels using the real f16 joystick so yeah so i'm choosing the mf ssb uh, upgrade on the stick okay so that is already pre-installed i'm i'm buying a package of uh, throttle and the f16 stick together so i think it's more discount on that uh, package rather than you buy um, uh, each each one of the options okay so after that we're going to test the button so here is the the red button uh, the trigger is uh, two position trigger so this is the first one and then the last uh, the end of the main trigger so two two level of main trigger or two step uh, and then this one is eight position head switch yeah so where is it it's showing the press the head switch i think it's shown differently in uh some other location i forgot um, oh by the way you cannot test the uh, the switch especially this bottom head switch and also this one is not registered in using windows usb controller uh jersey controller uh setup because it's up to 32 buttons only so this one is i think beyond 32 so it won't be detected by that so it has you either you use sima pro or using other joystick tester which allow you to see beyond 32 buttons okay so i think this one is working oh sorry this one is the uh i think i have to move this one so the head switch is actually here you can see in this graph yeah so let me move this here and make it smaller so you can see uh, what's going on. So this is the head switch you can see in this screen over here. Okay, this screen, uh, this is the head switch. And then you press the main switch that's going to turn green over here. So you, you see the visualization of the switch. And then uh, there, uh, down, left, right up in this section here and then also press down in the middle and also this right head switch uh, right this one uh, left up down and middle and uh, what else uh, this one also has a press in the middle you see for this eight position head switch so there's another head switch in the front air, uh, of the joystick here so up forward back down and middle and th there's another one here uh, there's another head switch uh, down forward up up and press uh, this one as mentioned it's two position so you can see here press first and second level positions and there's another switch down here okay and this one is actually a switch and a analog lever. So if you see here, there will be slider from zero to 65,000 positions. And at the end of the switch, it, it, it will press the eight and release the seven. You see, uh, release seven, press the eight. So it's a two position switch. Uh, it's very nice. So you can program it, let's say uh, in the no, normal neutral position is doing what and once it's fully pressed it's doing something so yeah it's a multi-function lever analog and also a switch um what else uh, thing ding, dee, dee, dee. that's it i think that's all the test so it's fully functional and uh as you can see in the graph also uh, this analog lever is uh, recorded perfectly uh, very accurately so 65,000 positions uh, compared to let's say uh, 16,000 position 
or resolution. I think it's much more uh, resolution in this joystick because it's using 10 bits, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a very accurate um, um, joystick. And yeah, I'm going to test it in DCS course and probably uh, MSFS 2020. But yeah, this is a new way of using a joystick uh, with a pressure sensitive uh, joystick uh, for F16 uh, and also FA35 uh, or 35, uh, uh, the newer uh, stealth aircraft, um, also using the similar uh, joystick. Okay, so that's it. So let's uh, move on into testing another devices from WinWing.